So for this series of videos, I'm going to use a data warehouse that I've built called store underscore DW. And I've provided the code in uh, the, the course website that will allow you to create this data warehouse yourself so you can try these queries on the data warehouse. So the data warehouse has a single fact table called sales underscore fact. And it has four dimension tables called product, promotion, store, and time. So I'm just going to use the store DW data warehouse. And, and just to start, I'll do select star from sales underscore fact. So let's explore that fact table. And we see that it doesn't really show us a lot because it's a bunch of numbers. So that's not going to be very useful if we're trying to report on that data. So notice that we have time key, product key, promotion key, and store key. So in this case, let's just look up the products because we have several things here for products, two, three, and so forth. So let's look at the product table and see what columns are there. Notice that product key is the primary key of the product table. And because of that, and because the sales fact table has a product key, and it's named the same thing as the product key table, we can do what is known as a natural join. And we don't have to specify an on clause. So we're just going to simply natural join to product and see what happens. So notice that we have the product key here listed and it joins to the table product based on that product key, but product key is only listed once. So a natural join is a very nice way to ensure that we have all the data that we need, but we also have the key field listed one time and only one time. So now let's um, let's add some information here. So we want the description uh, we want the package size and the brand and then from our um, From our fact table, let's add up the unit sales to see how many sales we had of this particular product. So we'll do sum of unit sales. And we'll call that column total sales. Now, when I try to run this, it's not going to run appropriately because we did not use a group by. So I need to add that group by. And remember, anything that's not part of an aggregate function has to be in the group by. So I'm just going to simply copy this and paste it down below. So let's execute that statement. Now we see that lasagna had 8,681 sales. Uh, frozen bird chicken dinner had 10,044 sales and so forth. So we can look through the product list and see what, what sold appropriately. And just so that we're clear, let's order this by the total sales and we'll say um, descending so that we can see the highest number of sales first. When we run that, we see that uh, the highest number of sales, of sales came for Squeezable Incorporated's paper towels at 10,209 units sold. 